How does embracing change lead to personal growth? A tale of David, Maya, and Leo. In the bustling city of New Haven, there lived a man named David, who had been ensnared by the tendrils of his past. His life was a canvas painted with regrets and memories he couldn't seem to escape from. David's heart was a locked chest, filled with what-ifs and if-onlys. But as the seasons changed, so too did the chapters of his life, introducing two pivotal characters, Maya, a wise therapist with a gentle soul, and Leo, an old friend with a zest for life that was contagious. David's days were monochrome, each blending into the next with no sign of change. He clung to his past like a shield, afraid to step into the unknown. His job as an accountant provided structure, yet it was the moments in between filled with silence that his mind replayed the greatest hits of his regrets. One evening, as David took his usual route home, a sudden downpour forced him into a small, cozy cafe he had never noticed before. There, he bumped into Leo, a friend from his university days, whose presence was as warm as the summer sun. Leo's infectious laughter and boundless energy were a stark contrast to David's somber demeanor. As they rekindled their friendship over coffee, Leo noticed the shadows in David's eyes. You know, holding onto the past is like trying to grasp water it only slips through your fingers, Leo said, his voice both light and serious. Encouraged by Leo, David found himself sitting across from Maya in a room filled with books and the soft scent of jasmine. Maya listened, her eyes reflecting a sea of understanding as David poured out his heart. The past is a place of reference, not residence, she told him gently. To release it, you must forgive yourself and embrace the changes that come with life. Maya introduced David to the concept of mindfulness, teaching him to live in the present and accept his emotions without judgment. Through their sessions, David learned to weave his regrets into lessons rather than chains. With Maya's guidance and Leo's unwavering support, David began to see the world in color again. He started to embrace change, understanding that it was not an enemy but a path to growth. Leo invited David on adventures, from hiking trails that tested their limits to quiet afternoons spent in bookshops and galleries, showing him the beauty of the present moment. David also found solace in journaling, a practice encouraged by Maya. He wrote letters to his past self, offering forgiveness and understanding. With each word, the weight he carried began to lighten, making room for new experiences and emotions. As autumn painted the city in hues of orange and gold, David felt a change within himself. He was no longer a prisoner of his past but a sailor on the sea of life, ready to face the winds of change. He started volunteering at a local community center, finding joy in helping others navigate their storms. One evening, as David, Maya, and Leo sat together in the cafe where the journey began, they reflected on the transformation. Change is the only constant, Maya said, smiling. And in change, there is hope. David realized that life was a tapestry of moments, each thread interwoven with lessons and growth. He had learned to release the past, not by erasing it, but by accepting it as a part of who he had become. With a heart full of gratitude, David looked forward to the unwritten chapters of his life, ready to embrace whatever came his way. David's story is a testament to the power of acceptance, support, and the courage to face the unknown. Through the characters of Maya and Leo, he discovered that releasing the past and embracing change was not just about moving on but about moving forward with a deeper understanding of oneself and the world. And so, as the first light of dawn crept through his window, David penned the last entry in his journal, I am not defined by my past, but shaped by it. Here's to the journey ahead, filled with endless possibilities. As the seasons shifted, so did the essence of David's life. Winter's chill brought with it a clarity like never before, a stark contrast to the warmth of his newfound perspective. David, Maya, and Leo became an unbreakable trio, each bringing light to the other's life in ways they hadn't anticipated. David's transformation inspired those around him. His colleagues noticed the change, the newfound spark in his eyes. He initiated a mindfulness program at work, 
sharing the gift of presence and acceptance that Maya had bestowed upon him. His desk, once a symbol of monotony, became a sanctuary of peace and motivation. One crisp winter morning, David took a leap of faith and joined an art class, something he had always wanted to do but never dared. With each stroke of the brush, he painted his emotions, discovering a form of expression that words could never capture. Art became his bridge between the past and the present, a visual diary of his journey. Leo, seeing David's courage, decided to face his own fears. He had always dreamt of starting his own business but held back, afraid of failure. Inspired by David's resilience, Leo finally took the plunge, with David cheering him on every step of the way. They became each other's support system, proving that strength often comes from the most unexpected places. Maya, ever the guiding light, continued to offer wisdom and insight, not just to David but to all who sought her counsel. She started a podcast, sharing stories of change and resilience, including David's journey, which touched the hearts of many. Her words were a beacon for those lost in the shadow of their past, illuminating paths to new beginnings. The trio's friendship deepened, their lives intertwining like the melodies of a symphony, each note a testament to their growth. They organized community events, from art exhibitions showcasing David's work to seminars where Leo shared his entrepreneurial journey, all underpinned by Maya's soulful insights on embracing life's ebbs and flows. It was at one of these events that David met Elena, a vibrant soul with an infectious laugh that reminded him of spring. Her spirit, so full of life and curiosity, drew David in. They connected over shared interests, finding solace in each other's dreams and aspirations. Elena, much like Leo, saw the beauty in the present, teaching David that love, too, was a form of art ever-evolving, never static. As the year came full circle, David stood before a canvas, not with paint but with words, preparing a speech for a community event on transformation. He spoke of his journey, of the people who had become his compass, and of the lessons learned along the way. His story, a beacon for others, illustrated that change, though daunting, was the canvas upon which the beauty of life unfolds. David, Maya, Leo, and now Elena, stood together, a testament to the power of human connection and the resilience of the human spirit. They had each other, and with that, they had everything. David's journey from the shackles of his past to the liberation of his present was a message of hope. It showed that every moment is a chance to rewrite our story, to paint our lives with the colors of change and growth. Through the tapestry of experiences, David learned that to live fully is to embrace each moment with an open heart and an open mind. As the sun set, casting a golden glow over New Haven, David realized that life was not about finding shelter from the storm but about learning to dance in the rain. And dance he did, with Maya, Leo, and Elena by his side, into a future filled with endless possibilities. The end of one story, the beginning of another, for in the book of life, the journey never truly ends, it only transforms.